Now we will learn how to resolve vectors. This is vector D. Vector D has two components, the X component and Y component. The X component is called the DX, the Y component is DY. And this vector D has the angle theta with the X component, DX. So how to find DX and DY? How to calculate them? Okay, you see, D, DX and DY, these trees, they form uh, a tri right angle triangle. So, we can use the trigonometry to calculate DX and DY. So, sine theta, you see, uh, theta, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So, it is DY over D. Okay. So, then we can get our dy, d multiplied above, we got dy equal to d sine theta. So, we got our dy. We can also use cos theta. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, it is dx over d. So, we got our dx. dx is d cos theta. Okay? Uh, so dy go uh, to the side so now we can clearly see that uh, dx and dy are the components for vector d uh, okay uh, so the dx is equal to d cos theta and dy equal to d sin theta okay so you see that uh, when you have angle theta adjacent to the angle theta, use cos theta. When no angle, use sine theta. Now, come to the second situation. This vector D, this time, the angle theta is with the Y component. Uh, before this, the theta is with X component. Now, the theta is with Y component. Okay? So how to find the dx and dy? Similarly, because this is a right angle triangle, we use trigonometry. Sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so it's dx over d. Okay, so we got our dx, which is d sine theta. Uh, so opposite use d sine theta. Now cos theta cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse uh, adjacent over hypotenuse so it's dy over d so we got our dy equal to d cos theta so uh, adjacent to the angle theta is d cos theta so here is our uh, x and y component of vector d huh? so um, we got our uh, components for X component and Y component. Uh, uh, so that is the formula to calculate the X and Y components. So for X component, DX is D sin theta. Uh, no angle, use D sin theta. Got angle, uh, we use D cos theta. Yeah? So we, since the theta is with Y component, so dy become d cos theta. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, we have two situations. Okay, the first situation is angle theta with x component. Uh, the second situation is angle theta with y component. Okay, if the angle theta is with x component, then the x component dx is using d cos theta. But if the angle theta is with y component, then it is the y component dy using d cos theta. Okay? So, the component adjacent to the angle theta is d cos theta. Ah, okay? So, in other words, we can say that if you have angle theta, then using it will use d cos theta. Got angle? Use d cos theta. No angle, d sin theta. Got angle, d cos theta. No angle, d sin theta. 
Uh, so we cannot say that d cos theta is only fixed at fixed at uh, uh, x component and y component uh, only fix use d sin theta. No, yeah, it depends on where is the angle theta. If the angle theta is in x component, then x component use d cos theta. But if the angle theta with y component, then it is the y component use d cos theta. Okay. Another very important thing about vector is the direction. Okay, now we have x axis and y axis. Okay, about the direction. So please take note that uh, we use the positive sign and negative sign to to um, determine their direction. So if you can see here, the direction to the right and upwards is we use positive sign. But the direction to the left and downward we use negative sign okay uh, so whenever you calculate their components x component and y components uh, if direction to the right we put positive values if direction to the left we put negative values direction upwards uh, in y component uh, we use positive values but the direction downward in y component we use negative values Okay, now here we have one example. Okay, so if you, you see here, here is a vector A, uh, magnitude is 5 unit. Okay, it has uh, x component AX and y component AY. So uh, maybe here you can use your calculator to calculate the values. Okay, how to find the AX and AY? Okay, depend on the angle theta. If the angle theta is with x component, uh, then the x component use the formula to remember if you have angle theta then you use a cos theta uh, but uh, like one component it has no angle then it will use a sin theta okay uh, so you can use 5 cos 36.9 you will get 4 uh, but if you use uh, a uh, 5 sin 36.9 you will get 3 okay try and use your calculator uh, another thing we can see here uh, the the x component here it is a positive value uh, why because direction to the right uh, direction to the right is positive uh, so maybe you can write here direction to the right uh, direction to the right is positive okay uh, and then the y component is upwards uh, upward we use positive value also okay uh, maybe you can move this uh, vector around and see okay uh, if in this first quadrant uh, then the positive the, comp the x component is positive y component upward positive but if move to the second quadrant uh, maybe you can move around and see uh, this is how the vector works, you see? You yeah, always have X and Y components. Uh, but if uh, at over here, uh, it only has X component. See? X component, the Y component is 0. Uh, if over here, uh, it only has Y component, and the X component is 0. Okay? Uh, see? You always have X and Y component. If you have angle theta, then you always have X and two components, X and Y components. Okay, over here, you see? Uh, if over here, the X component is to the left. To the left is negative values. Uh, okay? The left is negative values. So, negative. Uh, but the Y component is upwards. Uh, so, it's still positive values. Uh, but if we move, if we move this uh, downwards, uh, the x component is to the left, so it's negative value. But the y component is downward. Downward is also negative values. Uh, so downward is negative value. Okay. Uh, so remember when uh, you write the component, you must uh, know determine the direction first. Is it to the right or to the left? If to the right is positive, to the left is negative. Uh, for the y component, y component upwards is positive y component downward is negative okay over here you see uh, the x component is to the right to the right is positive values uh, 
the y component is downward so the y component is negative values okay so the positive and negative values the, the, the to determine direction is very important okay so here we have another three vectors okay uh, to, uh, if we have three vectors uh, then these three vectors can form another resultant vector okay uh, so you see that uh, this you have three vectors you have uh, the, the blue the pink the yellow so uh, before we want to find the resultant vector make sure you must resolve these vectors into their own x and y components first uh, okay we must resolve them so let's show how to resolve ah uh, you see that uh, so these are the x and y components for all the respective uh, vectors uh, so this is the x and y component okay for the green vector you see that uh, this is the x component this is the y component for the green vector for the yellow vector uh, do you see the x and y component uh, so this is the x component this is the y component for yellow vector for the blue vector uh, see that uh, this is the x component this is the y component for the blue vector so uh, to find the uh, x and y component uh, remember to use the formula um, uh, to use a formula a, a cos theta and using the, the formula a sin theta uh, to, to calculate the x and y components uh, depending uh, it, this one is adjacent adjacent to the angle theta a sin theta use the for the component which is opposite uh, understand and another thing is a uh, very important thing is the sign whenever the x component if the x component like this one uh, this x component is to the right is positive value uh, but another two x component to the left we use negative values uh, but for the y component y component upwards is positive values uh, like these two vector these two y component downward it is using negative values okay uh, so this is how it works so uh maybe uh the, when after we got all these uh, x and y component we can calculate the resultant vector uh, and this uh, the red one is the resultant vector you see that uh, uh, if this case you see like this one uh, this is equilibrium uh, when the resultant vector becomes zero it is equilibrium uh, okay uh, so this three vector can combine become a resultant vector but to calculate this resultant vector uh, we will include in another tutorial so hope you stay tuned for the next videos how, on how to calculate the resultant vector uh, maybe we can uh, show you how to get the resultant vector here um, you see ah you see that Oh, um, yeah. So you see, ah, uh, uh, when you have uh, this is the resultant vector, okay. Uh, when combine, uh, the red one is the resultant vector. The the other three is the uh, 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 the smaller vectors. Uh, see, these three combine become a resultant vector, okay. So hope you stay tuned for the next video about how to find the resultant vector.